Hey everyone, Stacy here. A common question I get asked is, how do you DNA test your dog? But more importantly is, how will this benefit me and my pup? For the average pet owner, by determining what and if any condition your pup is at risk for, you can take steps to help prevent problems from surfacing through dietary or lifestyle changes. DNA testing will better prepare you and can help prevent certain issues from manifesting. It can also be beneficial for breeders to determine if a dog is fit to be bred and can also enable them to produce a certain color or look by matching their dog with another dog's desirable DNA. First thing is to decide which testing facility to use. To name a few, there's Animal Genetics, UC Davis, Enbark, and VetGen. You can read the reviews to decide which laboratory best suits your needs, and in this case, we're gonna go with Animal Genetics. So head over to Animal Genetics website, and here you can request a free DNA sample kit. There's three different types of testing methods. Blood samples and dew claw samples are for puppies under six weeks, or the less invasive cheek buccal swab is what we'll be doing today. You will have to do a bit of research to see which tests you will need to have done for your specific breed. Not every genetic disorder affects every breed. It would be a waste of time to test for everything. Many companies have predetermined testing suggestions depending on the breed. For instance, the French Bulldogs panel recommends CMR1, HUU, JHC, IVDD, and debatably DM. When sending in the samples, there are certain rules to follow to avoid contamination and sample breakdown. Be sure that your puppy has not eaten anything within the last hour. This avoids food particles being caught in the swab and contaminating it. It's also important to place the sample in a paper envelope and not a plastic bag. This will prevent trapped moisture and bacteria growth leading to degraded sample. When taking the sample, be sure to place the buccal swab between the gum and the cheek and twist and turn for approximately 15 to 20 seconds. Allow the brush to air dry for at least a couple minutes before placing it back into the envelope and sealing. The next thing to do is to fill out the submission form that came in the free sample kit. I have a completed form here requesting a full color panel and a French Bulldog Disorder panel. For the French Bulldog, be sure to check off IVDD as it's not invoiced in the combination panel. Payment is required on the submission form and is required up front. Once the sample is received, it can take a few weeks to obtain the results. You will receive your results by email or mail, depending on the company. Now keep in mind that this is meant as a guideline for you on what the process will look like. Be sure to always read and follow any specific instructions provided to you by the testing company. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos.